Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. Um, I have been ill for the past week. I had a week long sickness bug. Um, apparently there was one going about. Don't know how I got it because I haven't been anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure my daughter carries it and brings it home. Um, so thanks very much Layla. Only carried you for nine months, gave birth to you, raised you for nine years and that's the thanks I get. So it's been a pleasant week for me. Um, lost more weight because I wasn't able to eat or anything. I've had no appetite. So it's been a horrendous week and the humidity here has not helped. And yeah, uh, so that's been my week. So I hope everybody else has had a better week than me. Um, I was going to do this video on Friday. But I was a little bit angry, so <laughs> um, putting anger and rants together are not a good mix. Um, so I was again going to do it yesterday and then yesterday I could not keep my eyes open. Uh, I felt like I had weights on my eyes. I actually fell asleep in my lip balm. I was putting my lip balm on and I actually fell asleep in it. That's how tired I was. I just could not keep my eyes open. It's ridiculous ways I kept falling asleep so yeah that was a fun day but at least I think I may have I think I needed it though because I definitely feel a lot better today but um before I get to the reason why I was angry let's talk about AD being banned for the week um has everybody been having a party and enjoying the peace and quiet uh, I have it's been kind of nice now I have no idea what was said in his video for him to get banned for a week but go youtube like obviously it's just a week but you know at least youtube actually done something um so again i don't have i have no clue what was said maybe somebody could fill me in because obviously the video's not there anymore um but i did see his comment he put up about being banned and you know, the fact that he thinks he owns the name Armchair Detective. Get a grip of yourself. You don't own that name. You'll never own that name. Armchair Detective is people who sit and watch crime documentaries and read about it and think that they're a bit of a detective. I'm an armchair detective. As I do the exact same. Everybody that is a true crime fan does that and they're called an armchair detective. You do not own the rights to that name. It started from Sherlock Holmes. Although I did find the Urban Dictionary version um, of the definition of armchair detective and I actually wanted to read it out because I actually think it's more fitting towards this armchair detective. So I'm going to read it out. So armchair detective, right, the definition. An idiot who reads a news story somewhere online such as Yahoo or Facebook and is quick to make a comment about the case coming up with a conclusion without any evidence of their own and or disregarding the facts reported. Now this is the last bit and I swear to god this is the last bit. Sh uh, shut the fuck up you dumbass armchair detective learn how to read and let the facts come out. Oh, sorry, and let the facts come out before you open your stupid mouth. So yeah, I think that one's more fitting towards that armchair detective. Um, but yeah, you do not own the name. Um, anybody can use it, and people are not just putting it in their videos so that they can get the views. And women are not just making videos because they fancy you. Like, huh? seriously, I saw that bit and that made me sick. And I was already sick, so. Uh, but yeah, no, that, oh, is a vile man. Vile man. So, yeah, I mean, something needs to be done. Because I'm now, we've had to do it on Friday. Frank Rusek. Not only did he have to make a video on YouTube, on his channel, to prove that it was him. He flew out to Colorado and stood outside the Watts house to make a statement about the way armchair detective and you know it's not just him there is other people out there as well that are doing it and abusing the Rusek family 
and I was sad and I was livid at the same time because I could not believe that this poor broken man had to do that like he, he should not have had to fly out to Colorado and stand outside the house that must have been painful that must have been heartbreaking and he done that and made a statement about the abuse and the uh, bullying and the way people are um, saying things about the case and I, it was just it was so sad to watch and I've been, and all the years that I have um, watched true crime and um, and looked into cases and stuff like that, I have never ever in a million years seen anybody have to do that and that was that disgusted me it's like the fact that this is the way the world is is just sad and the fact that my daughter is growing up in it just makes me angry I, I don't get how people could be so mean to a family that lost their daughter and three grandchildren that it, it's the abuse that they've been getting is just is horrendous and I know that the good always outweighs the bad but there is way too much bad in this world and it is a joke and I, I was I was just so angry on Friday and I was going to do a video and I was like no I'm not doing it because I will get really really angry but um honestly my heart absolutely goes out to the Rusek family I, I wish I could just give you all a big cuddle you don't deserve any of this you really don't and it's heartbreaking that this is what it's come to and so I mean seriously so, I mean look at what he had to do something needs to be done about this this can't go on um that's why I will no longer be doing the true crime I just I won't um I think the way things are going just now it's just too much uh, and what people like armchair detective and that are doing is just it's wrong and it's wrong on so many levels I don't know if it's a good thing that he's been banned for a week or a bad thing though because he could be sitting the whole week plotting all new different crazy ass theories about the case um so yeah um, don't know about that one but oh my god honestly mm. <laughs> It's just too much. So I'm just looking because I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, but no, I really do hope the Rusek family get something done about this. Um, and I'm sure detective, you, I don't know how you sleep at night and I don't know how you look in the mirror. Um, although with that face, I wouldn't. Uh, you seem to love yourself so much. Uh, I just... It pisses me off, I'm sorry, it really does. But um I don't want to keep this video too long anyway. I'm actually because I was sick for the past week I wasn't able to edit the video that I've been wanting to edit, so I'm finally gonna sit down tonight and Teddy's gonna show me um how to do it so that I can finally edit it. Um so that I can actually learn how to edit videos. Uh, so yeah, well, I'll be doing that and it will be up. Uh, I promise. Uh, so yeah, I'm so useless just now, honestly. But it will get done. So guys, I just also wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers and hi, welcome. I am four away from a hut. Four, <laughs> four <laughs> away from a hundred. Um, which I think is really really cool. Some people might think a mm, hundred is not that much. But uh, to me it is, and I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you so much for all the lovely comments that you guys have been leaving. It's been so nice and I really appreciate it. You are really helping me and giving me that boost and making me want to do this more. So I really do appreciate it. So I'm really, really happy that we're four away from 100. So let's hope it gets to the 100. Um, but yeah, it sounds pathetic, but I'm happy. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Uh, so yeah, if you want to join us, please subscribe and like and comment below if uh, you want to give me any gossip. Uh, so yeah, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.